I'm sure he'd tell us. Now, if you were out and about in Bath today, you might have noticed more people than normal rushing about looking at their phones. It's all down to Twitter and an idea by the Bath Tourism Board to attract more visitors to the city. Now, before we tell you more, in case Twitter is just a load of twaddle to you, here's how it works. Twitter is a free website which allows you to post a message to friends who you know and those who you don't. It can be 140 characters long only though and that's about a couple of sentences. If people are interested in what you post they can follow you so every time you post they know about it. Thousands of famous faces tweet daily, including the likes of Lord Sugar and Carol Vorderman there. But of course, it can also just be your next door neighbour. So in Bath today, eight well-known online writers and bloggers who have tens of thousands of followers on Twitter have been asking them about their experience of Bath and where they should visit. And Lizzie Way has been following them. This used to be the traditional place to come to try and find out where to go and what to do. But now it's got a helping hand from one of these and the wonderful world of Twitter. The Bath Twitter trip is an idea by the Bath Tourist Board to try and market the city in a different way. Eight online writers and bloggers have been in Bath today asking where they should go and what they should do. You might recognise this man taking part. He's the 2011 MasterChef winner, Tim Anderson, who has 10,000 followers. Used to being under pressure in the kitchen, he's looking for all the best local ingredients, which he'll use later to whip up a culinary delight. One thing that's really cool about this idea is that you do get, you cast your net wide for suggestions and you sort of see what comes of it. Um, and you get personal suggestions, you get, things that are based on people's experiences and things that are exciting to them, which I think is generally, you know, you get good results from that rather than just looking it up on Google. A city's not been marketed in this way before, but since tourism bosses here started using Twitter and Facebook, there's been a 100% increase in people using the Visit Bath website. We can't believe the, uh, the the amount of tweets we're getting all morning and into the afternoon. It's been fantastic. The reaction we've had from both, you know, visitors to Bath, from people who have never been before, to people uh, just the local businesses, um, just the number of tweets coming through and the recommendations and insider tips and local knowledge is fantastic. So, really, really pleased. From books to burritos, people have had plenty to tweet about today. I've had so many people telling me where to go, I have no idea who these people are. They've just kind of taken on to this idea of us following, you know, going around the town um, and following Twitter, and they've just sent a load of messages through. Well, you can read all the comments and all the places that have been visited today using the Twitter hashtag BathTwitTrip. This is Lizzie Way for BBC Points West on the Bath Twitter trail. And staying with the theme, yes, BBC Points West is on Twitter. We've just tweeted at... Fergie Weather, that's Ian Ferguson's Twitter name. Uh, with our forecast, he's up on the roof for us all together now. How's it looking for the bank <laughs> holiday? Hello, <Ian>? Alex. <laughs> I'm going to send back to you a picture that I just took a second ago of my view of all of you, which might surprise a few people, I dare say. I'll throw